It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened. A rainy night here. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It is Feyenoord up against Schalke. Thanks, Derek. Well, the visitors tonight have got the carrot of qualification to the knockout stages dangling in front of their eyes. Can they stay focused? We're just about to find out. Looking forward to this one. And unable to keep possession. On and on he goes. And cleared away. Well, as we've already made note of, here is the scenario for the visitors tonight. Can they secure their place in the knockout stages, Lee? Yeah, that's right. You want your fate in your own hands. Three points should see them through, whatever happens in the other games. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Over it comes. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Leroy Fair, really bright looking attack. How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. It's been scored by Zenek Ondracek. The ball was crossed just outside the box. And he was on hand to fire a beautiful... It looked as though he was going to score, but last-ditch defending is something you know about, Lee. Yeah, he was hassled. It made him hurry his shot, and it's close. And they have possession again. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Well, we never like cutting off Alan McAnally, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons. To recap, the hosts did score in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Crossing opportunity. Makes the move to the inside. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Suat Serdar. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Well, the host dominating possession it really has been impressive their play really deserves a goal but you don't always get what you deserve in this game we know that Derek it might be on chances on he must finish well he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves great goalkeeping well he's denied a certain goal there great reflexes from the keeper Paciencia. He's in with a chance. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. 1-0 then.
Jens Tornstra. Fair. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Now, can they create something? Well, they need to get tighter. Can they keep it out? And a time for calm on the ball. Kukchu. Fair. Here is Linsen. Well, that's not watertight defending. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Schalke unable to keep. it Linsen and give it away Linsen we're getting the ball forward. Still possibilities. Another well, hope tries as they win a corner. A big chance to get level. The crowd are going nuts. And over comes the corner. Well, you always want to stamp your ticket for the... And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Mustafi. On the ball, Zane. It's with Mustafi. Alessandro Schupf. Unable to keep the ball that time. And there to intervene. Schalke, possession stats not too great, to be fair. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Can he do it? Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Over it comes. But fisted away by the goalkeeper. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for the home team. It's been scored by Zenek Ondracek. That's his second today. He showed great composure to take his time when put clear and find the bottom corner. Fifth. A real opening now. And still a chance. In it goes! the second time of asking and the keeper feels hung out to dry well the earlier goal cancelled out one apiece apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally to confirm for you the home side were able to score and the lead at the moment is 2-0 Leroy Fair And a throw-in forthcoming. Stambouli. Well, a big Bundesliga match for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Schalke facing Hoffenheim. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Looks promising, this. Thumped clear. Well, offside here. Such a pity for them. Chance was on. Not a great pass.
Linsen might really be able to trouble them here could play it in well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out Mustafi and you saw the situation developing Linsen Fair Keeping the ball moving Careless in possession oh, Showing excellent vision Oh, offside How marginal was that? But the flag is raised Substitution then Let's see how it affects the match Inside the last quarter of an hour. Haps. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Real chance. And Mustafi getting in the way. Really closing him down. Joao Teixeira. Well, nothing productive, really. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? A decisive clearance it was. Perhaps. Well, the attack looks promising. Still could put it away. Tremendous block. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Here it is now, a substitution. And a chance to whip it in here. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, he knows that could be a big, costly miss. And only two minutes remaining here. Tension building still. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. A chip car. Well, I must say, he's got that chip horribly wrong well if he had that chance again I'm pretty sure he wouldn't try the chip the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order oh nice ball over the top to chase he's foiled them on his own and that is that the final whistle here still time is on their side other opportunities remain for them to clinch their place in the knockout stages. Yeah, absolutely. They'll be disappointed, but they're still in it. That's the main thing. Still time left. I'm sure they'll be fine in the end. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, didn't the lad play well? All aspects of his game was bang on today and that vital goal as well. And cleared away.
And hello to you from the Kreichgau region. We're at this beautifully appointed venue, the Pre-Zero Arena in Zinsheim. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Hoffenheim up against Schalke. Yeah, thanks, Derek. All that work in the week, all that chat in the dressing room, all that stops now. It's put your game face on. Get down to it. I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, news coming through of a penalty. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a penalty for Augsburg. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. High to the goalkeeper's left. Big power, big penalty. And just over the bar, really good effort. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, Derek, you don't need me to point out their weaknesses coming into today's game. They just don't score. And it has to change, and it has to change quickly. Maybe a few more balls direct into the box, round the corners, over the top. Just change it up a little bit. And the ball lost here. convert keeper had work to do well he's given a corner they referee over it comes and unable to keep the ball I believe there's been a goal in the Hertha match Alan McAnally can fill us in it's a goal for Bayer Leverkusen 15 minutes played 1-1 thanks Alan Able to close down the shot. A bit sloppy in possession. It's time to play it over. Potential danger here. It's not a bad ball. Well, the danger is still there. And I think the threat has been averted. Pressing as a team. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say it has been kept. As we can see here, it's great play. They force a mistake by pressing really high up the pitch. And when they win the ball back, just look where they are within striking distance of the goal. Great stuff. The opening goal of the game then. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Well, sloppy in possession. Schalke have not had too much of the ball, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really... Surely! Oh, he's missed the chance to extend their advantage. Oh, a golden opportunity to really put the game to bed. There's been a goal at the Rhein Energie Stadion. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Cologne. 33 minutes played. 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Robert Scoff, Rudy, and he did well to cut it out.
Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Electing to cross into the centre. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Well, the referee had to stop play, and he's doing that now so the player can receive treatment. So a drop ball here following the stoppage. Adamian. Good technique displayed. And an effective clearance. Sebastian Rudi. Short corner favoured. Adamian. Well, racing away here. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Diadi Samaseku. That is that for the first half here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And they've won possession again. I believe there's been a goal in the Hertha match. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for Hertha. 47 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Now, the transfer stories are very real. This could well happen. Lee, your thoughts? Yeah, if the media and the papers are believed, they've made an official bid. Not surprising, really. He's a top player. There's been rumblings for a while now. I guess we're likely to find out over the next couple of days or so. Chance to play it in. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Belfodil. Robert Scoff. Not a very good challenge and he skips past his man. Possession one. And given away by Schalke. Well, the Royal Blues have lost the ball. Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more action from the Bundesliga coming up. It's Hoffenheim facing Armenia Bielefeld. Yeah, I'm predicting. Has eyes for goal! Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, Derek, the stats don't lie. This team has virtually done everything to get back into this game, but put the ball in the back of the net. The creativity has not been a problem, but the couldn't grab hold of it. And a change to the scoreline at the Rhein Energie Stadion. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Cologne. 64 minutes played, 2 1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Easy meet for the goalkeeper.
And hello from a German city where there are two main traditions, mining and football. We're in Gelsenkirchen. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And we're in position and ready to bring you live action from the German top flight, the Bundesliga. This really should be a belter of a game, Lee. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Alessandro Schupf. Serdar. Now, can they make something happen? And just like that, they've lost possession. Manuel Gulde. So for Schalke, a very good victory in the last game against Hoffenheim. How do you see this one going, Lee? Real chance! Well, that is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he's had an absolute nightmare there. The goal's in front of him, just hit it. The high press was on, and that's a... Well, he'll be irked with himself, ran into an offside position. Hughes. Well, as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season. Highly competitive, especially at the summit. Yeah, plenty of teams in the... He's in here! Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Threat over for now, it seems. And let's join Alan McAnally, because I believe there's been a goal in the Frankfurt match. Alan, can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Well, he's done really well with his angles there. Good reactions too. Is it going to be an example of a goalkeeper on top of his game, Lee? Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. Corner kick played in. Well, he was under a bit of pressure, but he'll feel he should have done a bit better with the header. And apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. Just to confirm, Hertha have scored in that match. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. Alessandro Schupf. Slip short passing. Nils Petersen. Daniel Kreila. It did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Zalif Zane. Now the pass not finding its target. Santa Maria. We're getting the ball forward. And a throw in it's going to be. And the cross is very much on. Just cutting off the supply. A chipka. Read it well. Santa Maria. And this is Grifo. Well, they couldn't keep it. And given away by Schalke. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Really bright-looking attack. Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. What can they do from here? But it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Well, he's done really well with his angles there. Good reactions too. 
Schlotterbeck. Santa Maria. Damir Kreiler. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Well, no stopping him. Nils Petersen. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. And so it is, the first half story. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Manuel Gulde. And this is Grifo. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Eintracht Frankfurt game, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Eintracht Frankfurt. 47 minutes played, 1-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. But it's just about a case of wall-to-wall -wall football live with us here on EA TV. Lee and I will be with you for this game coming up. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Paciencia. Well, sloppy in possession. Nils Petersen. Manuel Gulde. And in possession, Baptiste Santa Maria. Nils Petersen. I'm hearing there's been a goal scored at the Zignal Iduna Park. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Borussia Dortmund. 59 minutes played. He's in here. And a goal it is against the run of what we've seen so far. Well, totally against the run of play. But they won't mind. Now they've got to defend it. Well, here's the replay. And it's a decent move to evade the defender. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? absolutely smashes it past the keeper it's a really lovely finish time for a change then the opening goal of the game then well unfortunately we had to cut Alan McAnally short just then just to confirm, Dortmund did score in that match. And the lead at the moment is 2-0. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Schalke have not had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this. He's in with a chance. It's got to be. Will it come back to haunt them? A golden opportunity squandered, Lee. What a chance. That was the game right there. Nils Petersen attending to his defensive chores well they've lost possession of the ball Damir Kreiler Haberer now and the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on On and on he goes. Oh, great defending. Well, at the Borussia Park, there's been a goal, and Alan McAnally can tell us all about it. It's a goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach. 71 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Looks promising, this. 
Can he convert? Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Now, what can they do from here? And he's made headway. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again, and all the credit goes to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions about the keeper. He's got to have that covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So, 2-0 now. Damir Krylach. Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. Possession one. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, lovely work to get past his man. A courageous goalkeeping, but he's got the ball. Well, you have to be brave, don't you? Diving at the feet of a player like that. Good goalkeeping. Well, someone has found the net at the Zignali Duna Park. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Borussia Dortmund. Eight minutes remain. 3-0. Alan. Oh, surely. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Inside the final five minutes now. Manuel Gulde. Schlotterbeck. Haberer. Really a very poor ball. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. Just to confirm, Dortmund did score in that match. And they are running away with it, seemingly. 3-0 in front. Couldn't keep the ball. Super tackle and they've won possession. So two minutes of stoppage time here. He continues his run. Pass lacking precision, too strong. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And they were certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he's had an absolute nightmare there. The goal's in front of him. Just hit it. Well, he was under a bit of pressure, but he'll feel he should have done a bit better with the header. 